Here's the old smoke detector, Sunbeam, with radioactive Maricum uh, 241. And this was bought new, it looks like, in 1995. No, December of 88, this was bought brand new. It still works, so. This is not the primary one, but I keep on replacing the batteries. Put the batteries in 88, 91, 95, 1997, uh, looks like 2000, 2001, 2005, 2009, and still kind of chirps a little bit, but I'm going to go through and put a new battery in it. This thing is so old that uh, it's almost hard to get the plastic stuff out. It's so brittle, but this thing still works pretty well in the sense if you've got something on the stove and uh, it's kind of burning, it'll go off. So it's not the primary one I've got. Get the battery out of there. It's kind of a, a mess. Probably need to get a knife. Get this sucker out of there. I usually use alkaline batteries. Yeah, it's got a little bit of bulge on here. It's kind of a good sign. Still chirps, kind of bizarre. Even though the light's not working on, this thing's got such a uh, margin on it. it. Must be due to liability that it it keeps it'll chirp still even though the light's not going on and anything else. Ah. Plastic's all brittle. Ooh, it doesn't test. Maybe it's dead. There it goes. That's the sunbeam. What the heck is this? Four five fifty one smoke detector. Here it is in October of two thousand twelve. And where are we going to put the date on here? Ah, we'll put a October 2012 on here. Put a 1012 also on here. This thing blinks every blue moon. You can tell it's going on at night, but it's one of the secondary ones I use. A lot of people replace the batteries every time they change time. This thing, I'm kind of curious, I put on the date on here. It usually lasts about two to three years at least. And if you put something on the stove and let it kind of simmer over, get a little smoke, it'll go off. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, that's just a goofy uh, sunbeam smoke detector, 4551. Uh, single station uses what they call Americum. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's ionization type. Americum 41, 241's got a half life of uh, 432 years. Let me share looking here on the dial up modem here, looking at the review of what it shows about it, how it works. The ionization chamber. This is on some type of, uh, I think it's on Stanford University. It's got a radiation source, got a voltage, and when it detects smoke going through there, it'll go through and set off like that. So it's quite, it's kind of interesting if you purposely let something kind of sizzle on the stove or something, get a little smoke, it'll go off. So sometimes it's good to kind of just make sure, do a sanity check besides the little beeping thing and just make sure they go off.
kind of what I like to do so anyways that's an old Sunbeam smoke detector from uh, December 88 and here it is still running in October of 2011 put a new battery in it batteries last usually two to three years at least on alkaline at least on this one 